Anthony called me about two weeks ago. He said, he goes, he goes Mom, he goes, what do, you, what do you have planned on the Tuesday before Christmas? And I said, well, I think I have to work. He goes, well, he goes, can you get off work early? And I, I said, probably. I said, what do you got planned? And he said, he goes, well, I need you to be at the lights. He goes, I'm going to ask Aubrey a really big, important question. He goes, that one big, important question. I said, oh, okay. I said, well, I said, I've been waiting for this. I said, I knew it was coming sometime. <laughs> well, my son came home for winter break, as usual, and we're, of course we are very involved with the Christmas lights here, and it's always been a big part of our lives and my son's life. So we go out shopping, and he says, Dad, I need your help. I'm not going to buy my girlfriend a cell phone. I'm going to go buy her a ring. I said, that's great. Then, no problem. And he said, I also need your help. Since it's the lights and since it's us and our family, he said, I got to put this in lights. Help me put it in lights. I said, okay, that's a little more involved. We only have a handful of days. So we, I grabbed him by the arm and literally said, we got to go to Lowe's. Let's go. Off we go to Lowe's, see my friend Mike at Lowe's, buy lights, buy wood, buy paint, buy glue, buy everything we need, extension cord, you name it. So then we dash it all into my barn lie to my wife for five days straight, everybody at work, nobody knew. We'd sneak out, punch a bunch of holes, put in a bunch of lights, working on it, working on it. Finally, the day arrives. He's a little nervous, I'm a little nervous, because now we have to convince people to come here on some excuse just to see Mr. Booker here and see the lights, and then they would spring the big announcement and it would light up. Hit it. Hit it. Look at there. So, you've been my best friend for a long time right now. I've loved you for a really long time, babe. And it would really make me the happiest guy ever if for this Christmas you'd marry me. clue. It came totally out of left field and uh, I missed most of it but I did catch the very end and it was really exciting. Aubrey's been really part of our family for a long time so this will make it official. This grand production was um, pretty much in the genes. His grandfather did the same kind of thing I mean, look around and his dad did the same kind of thing when we got engaged also so yeah I would definitely have expected the big move. Well, so what did his what did your husband do? Well, what happened there? Uh, well, he proposed on a picnic, but then he sent a singing telegram that day, and there was a big sign in my yard the next morning, and so it was yeah. It's pretty cool. She's she's going to make a great daughter-in-law. Uh, they've they've been dating since eighth or ninth grade, so we've known her quite a while, and she definitely fits in, and we're just really happy to have her. Oh, it was beautiful. I tried not to cry. <laughs> I was waiting to watch her reaction more than anything. I think she was shocked at first. I think she was looking around like, who's Aubrey? So, yeah, she she did. She was really surprised because she hates surprises. So this was a hard one to keep a secret from her. <laughs> All right, guys, this this one's for you. You guys got this far. You guys got many years to come. And we're so proud of you so far. We can't see what we can't wait to see what's coming next. We love you dearly. All right, love mom. Yeah, we've always done things over the top. I mean, you can't get any more over the top than getting engaged in front of 3.8 million lights and adding our own little personal touch of, will you marry me, in lights. Uh, well, Dad and I came up with the idea because we built light signs before for the mill, and lights is kind of what we do. And it took us probably 50 hours to build the sign, so it's been about a week in progress. And no idea. No, no, idea. no idea. Well, I almost missed it because I didn't turn around until <laughs> so someone shoved me around. But I was very surprised, and I hate surprises. <laughs> but I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's been a good Christmas. Hey, I wish you all the happiness. This was a great start, a great beginning. It's as bright as so is your future. I don't have any big advice, because they've known each other really a long time. But I would just say, um, be good to each other and have fun. And we love you. We know you're going to have many happy years together. <laughs>